once you've started the game, you run over here, and then you can pick up the weapon you started out with. Right here, good old spear. And then, as you can see, you got your key pulses. You want to make sure you understand how to do key pulsing. I know it's very annoying, but on top of that, like when you're hitting an enemy, they're going to be stun locked, so you can focus on the key pulse rather than them trying to hit you back. For the most part, anyway. And like I said, any key pulse is better than no key pulse. So th these are the checkpoints now. What I'd recommend is you want to come over here to Boone's DLC items. Obviously I have the DLC, but even if you don't have the DLC, uh, I think you're able to get a certain set of armor in here regardless. Uh, but that's just me. If you do get a certain armor, obviously equip. You want to equip the best armor. I have the Neo armor. Uh, much higher defense, but... If you don't have it, it's fine. Don't need to worry about it. We'll just be running straight to the boss. Or not boss, I mean, kind of to the boss. You can pick up random items here and there. Like, for example, there's these low guys. You can help them. But they're kind of useless. And, I mean, the more you pick up, then you get more healing. Only problem is it resets every time you get to a new area. So you want to... Just ignore them, unless you want the trophy. If you want the trophy, then you gotta pick them all up. But you just want to keep running straight, essentially. All the way through here. Just loop around. You want to come by this bowman up until the next checkpoint right over here. So obviously you just wait, if an enemy is chasing you, you want to have them lose all their stamina, then you can hit them, and they get a power attack, or just the usual trade blows and guard. Trying to dodge enemies is risky because they do so much damage, especially when you don't have good armor. One way to fix that is you want to connect to the internet. You don't need PS Plus or anything, you can connect to the internet at all times. Then, what I'd also recommend is for level ups, you just want to dump everything into magic, because magic is the most overpowered stat in this entire game. And then, let's see here. Since I'm online, I should be able to get some certain uh, things known as uh, graves. So that guy... I'll be careful of him. He may be able to one-shot you, but I don't think he should. So that red you see in the distance, that's a uh, grave. You can kill an NPC that's kind of like a or like a CPU of a player that previously died there, and then you can get their equipment at a random chance. So it's great to keep in mind. There's some enemies over here, but none to worry about. And obviously, if you have a spear, this is perfect, so see this guy? Blue is rare equipment, yellow is uncommon equipment, and then white is normal equipment. So obviously if the enemy doesn't have a spear, that's perfect, so that you hit them much faster than they hit you. Axe enemies are especially great, because, I mean, they deal a lot of damage, but uh, they run out of stamina really quick. Especially with that attack. You can break their guard very easily, and then just equip it. You can equip their armor. This right here, if it's sort of grayed out, like you can see this special effects, I have all of them. When it's grayed out like this, it means you don't have the required stats, as you can see at the bottom. Body required is white, which is 5, which I have that. Strength required, red 6, means I don't have it, but the armor, I still get that effect. And you can pop that elixir. There's a few enemies on the outside, just try not to lure them in. And right about here, you want to go top stance for this. You can pick this up. If you have your uh, guardian spirit full, you can see top right or top left corner, you know, it's kind of glowing. You can use that. So, right over here, just to keep things as easy as possible, you just want to use that. 
and then you just want to rip this guy apart. Essentially, just wait for him to do an attack. And then... If you start out the fight with a top stance attack, you'll knock him down. I used the Guardian Spirit a little too early. That kind of messed things up, but... Uh, before you summon the Guardian Spirit, what I'd recommend, go top stance. You can hit him on the head to break his horns. Then you can use Guardian Spirit. That'll most likely kill him before he gets the chance to hit you. So you want to uh, you want to kill him, but you don't have to. You just got to pick up the item right next to him. But he may kill you in one hit before you can get to it. That's why I killed him. Another thing to keep in mind is obviously activate this. But since we have points invested into magic. I'm just going to invest some more points into magic. But what you can do is you can learn skill. You want to grab this and then you want to grab this because that increases the amount of key or uh, stamina you get from doing a key pulse. So you want to come down for all of these talismans, lightning, wind, water, and fire. Uh, they apply an effect to your weapon. Fire does fire build up, which does slow damage over time. Water, I got no idea what that does. That's kind of useless. Wind, same thing. I don't know what that's for. Lightning and fire are my two favorites because lightning especially will slow down an enemy when you're hitting them as you build it up. Fire, you know, extra damage, but you don't really need extra damage because it's kind of insignificant. And then... Once you have, and if you have any of them unlocked, I mean, you deal more damage. So once you have it unlocked, you want to come here to ready jutsu. And then you want to equip it. And then you want to push triangle to set it as a shortcut. And then you can apply it at any time to uh, build up the effect. Uh, I mean, I accidentally killed him a little too quick. When you come here, I mean, I'm just going to run past these enemies because they are kind of tricky. What you'll want to do is you'll want to just loop around here. You'll want to lure the enemies right here. Wait, where is he at? Yeah, you want to lure them around, this guy especially, so that you could just come back around up the ladder. And then you just want to run straight through. That guy's kind of annoying, but that's how it is. Right here, you don't want to fall in the roof. You can see it's kind of indented, meaning you could fall through the roof. Over here, you just want to hop off. Just uh, wait for that, because if you're trying to run past a yokai, obviously that's meant to sort of trip you up, so you're in uh, like more reason for you to fight them. But... You can just run past him, loop around for that uh, ladder. And then right here, you want to be careful. There's a guy with a bow, but he's not that important. Just walk around him. Right here, I mean, there's a lot of these for the yokai. But what you can do is you just want to come over here, kick the ladder down. You can hop down, wait for the yokai to come down. Preferably be partially up the ladder so he doesn't hit you while you're coming up. So, you know, just be up the ladder a little bit so that he comes down and then you can get away without him being able to hit you. Once you're over here, you just want to sort of hop down and then you want to come to this sort of side area so that you can loop around, climb up this ladder. And then there's a bowman right here you want to be careful of. Oh wow, that's kind of disappointing. Then you'll just want to fall off. Run past all these enemies. And then you'll be back here for the shortcut. Activate this. And then another magic spell I would recommend, because the boss is... Uh, right next to us essentially so another spell I would recommend come to on magic 
Highly recommend Devigorate Talisman. And then you could do Weakness Talisman, but I think the weakness effect only applies to armor. I'm not too sure. Something I read. Uh, you can use Weakness Talisman. Or, uh, you know... Nah, I'm not interested. But... Uh, you, you could feel free to use it. On top of that, you'll also want to come to Ninja. You want to come by the bottom to activate Power Pill, which increases your attack power. Once that's done, just equip those three so that they fill up your main slots. And then where's the uh, Power Pill? Equip that. And then you can run straight to the boss. 